content of this video is divided into six part IS guideline, theory, field application, laboratory test, calculation and conclusion. Starting with first part IS guideline. IS guideline for determination of specific gravity. Largest source of error in the test due to complete removal of air from the sample is difficult. When soil containing soluble salt, kerosene or white spirit may be preferred. To obtain good result, soil should be left under vacuum for several hours, preferable overnight. Shaking the bottle in hand once or twice, interrupting the vacuum give quicker result. Greatest care in this testing and several repeated tests may be needed. Low value suggests presence of organic matter. The specific gravity calculate at 27 degree. If room temperature is different from 27 degree, correction should be applied. Second part of this video is theory. What is specific gravity of soil? The specific gravity of soil is an important property in geotechnical engineering. It has a various field application that help in understanding the behavior and characteristic of soil. Simply specific gravity is the ratio of density of soil particle to the density of water under specific condition. Third part of this video is field application of specific gravity. Field application of specific gravity Determination of word ratio and porosity, calculation soil unit weight, engineering property such as shear strength, compressibility and bearing capacity, geotechnical investigation, foundation design, filter and drainage design, slope stability analysis, compaction control, permeability calculation, hydraulic erosion prediction. Fourth part of this video is laboratory test. Apparatus required for determination of specific gravity of soil ISC 425 micron density bottle of 50 ml capacity oven distilled water funnel own dry soil sample weighting balance vacuum pump and water bath Test procedure for determination of specific gravity step number 1 Complete density bottle with stopper weighted to the nearest 0.001 gram. The 50 gram soil sample passing from 2 mm ISC. Step number 2. The sample shall be transferred to the density bottle directly from the desiccator in which it has been cooled. Step number 3. The bottle and contents together with the stopper shall be weighted to the nearest 0.001 gram. Step number 4. Sufficient air-free distilled water shall be added so that the soil in the bottle is just covered. Step number 5. The bottle contains the soil and liquid but without stopper shall be placed in vacuum desiccator which shall then evacuate gradually. The pressure shall be reduced to about 20 mm Hg.
Step number six: The bottle shall be allowed to remain in the desiccator for at least one hour. Step number seven: The vacuum shall be released and lid of the desiccator removed. The soil in the bottle shall be stirred carefully with spatula. Step number eight: The procedure shall be repeated until no more air is evaluated from the soil and weighted to the nearest 0.001 gram. Step number 9 fill the complete density bottle with air free liquid and weight it to the nearest 0.001 gram Part number 5 of this video is calculation of specific gravity calculation of specific gravity as per is 2720 part 3 section number 1 the specific gravity of the soil particle is measured at room temperature and after applying temperature correction the specific gravity of soil particle at 27 degree determine part 6 of this video is conclusion specific gravity of soil gravel 2.65 to 2.68 sand 2.66 to 2.67 silty sand 2.67 to 2.70 silt 2.68 to 2.70 inorganic clay 2.70 to 2.80 organic soil less than 2